Illustrator comes with many different tools. Uh, some probably use quite a bit, some probably not. And the flare tool, or as I always call it, lens flare tool, but that's in Photoshop. But uh, it's the flare tool. And um, that's probably fairly underused and certainly doesn't seem to be particularly liked when you look on the web. But there are actually some uses for it. And I'm just going to quickly show you a few. Right. Now, going to Illustrator and the flare tool, to get it right this time, is under the rectangle tool. Just go down there, flare tool. And once you, you can just apply it here. I'm just going to apply it to a black background so you can actually see it a bit better. And then just create the that. You can remove the flare path if you wish. You don't have to have that. Just undo flare path. Right. So now I've created it. It's just a standard path. So you can actually use the scale tool. And I'm just going to quickly scale it. You can, of course, even move the center of the scale. So there's the little center there and you can drag that out and scale using that you can share it as well quite different right and that's the key thing sharing the uh, thing or actually creating it as a with that aspect otherwise well I'm just now going to go to the next part of this tutorial and that's the effect and you can apply other effects but I'm just going to quickly show you the transform. Now, the transform is probably one of my favorite ones. I really love this tool. It's quite nice. I mean, I wish it was a bit quicker when I'm doing the video tutorial. It's, it's a bit sluggish when it comes to the video tutorial. So uh, when you're actually using it normally, it's actually a lot faster. And maybe on a faster machine, it'll be a lot faster. On my machine, sluggish. Right. So I'm just going to quickly show you basic step. Number of copies, 10. I'm not going to go for too many copies because you can go for 30, 50 copies. But uh, I'm just going to go for 36 and creates a quick rosette design. Very easy, quick, very colourful, great for, you know, backgrounds perhaps. And of course you can uh, change the origin, create different effects there. It's quite interesting to do that. But I'm going to use the centre. I don't want to do that. Now, of course, I can change the angle. So it's just maybe a bit close to each other. Of course, at this point, you can also use the scale. I'm just going to reduce the scale a bit. 94, 95, 93. And also use the move. And I'm just going to move it out so it's out. And you can create spirals very easy or other flares. So it's not just a spiral. You can have it bursting out and of course you can create more copies keep them closer together the spacing of course be a factor there so you can have it zoom out whatever so right that is the first step you can also go back now and it's it's still a standard path you can see the path there it's a live effect so you can actually modify the uh, thing and you've still got the really go share and you can actually just share it there and you can create unusual different effects very easy a sort of circular design there using the lens flare lens flare it's a flare tool let's get off lens flare that's photoshop now right next thing to do also you can actually color the uh, flare tool the flare and i'm just going to quickly go to you can use obviously the standard color settings here just I'm just going to go preview. Again, I would love Illustrator to have a sticky preview. It just, you always have to keep selecting the preview. It is a frustrating feature. But uh, you can now just recolor the whole thing if you wish. Also, you can if you wish. And I'm just going to come out of that because I don't want that red. And I'm just going to go to the edit color, colors, recolor artwork. Right. Now you can actually color the individual parts of it. I'm just going to randomly change color. I'm, it's not obviously I could just go and select one of these. I'm say red. I'm going to make it red. So that, and then I can just go randomly go through that. Obviously the red's a very limited color scheme there. So uh, probably better if I don't choose something like that. Randomly color, change the colors. Right. So very easy way now creating a green flare wish of course after that you can 
well, you can export. You can also, of course, apply multiple transforms. So you don't have to just go with this single one. You can actually now use this transform here to create other transforms. So you can actually, so I could go and select that, add another effect, transform. Now, of course, this is going to be even slower. But you can actually scale that. So I'm just going to quickly, say, reduce it down. So 90. 90 and that's probably one reason why the preview is actually off because of course it would actually be quite probably slowish to uh, produce and I'm going to produce a couple of copies I'm not going to go mad on that so four and I'm going to preview that so you can actually create they are a scaled effect and it's obviously quite intense but it's quite a quick and easy way of creating some let's say very interesting intense lens flare or flare effects in Illustrator.